Hey everybody, it's Izzy here. Today I'm going to be showing y'all my Game of Thrones Dark Horse action figure collection. But first, look at my shirt. Stark Targaryen making Westeros great again. I just want to say that first because I don't want people to think I was wearing a Trump shirt. But I'm wearing a Stark Targaryen shirt because I support the Starks. I'm not going to go into more because I don't want to give any spoilers if you have not seen Game of Thrones. But I'm going to be showing y'all the Funko, not Funko, the Dark Horse figures that I own. I recently started collecting them a few months ago maybe and it was mainly because I won the Rob Stark Funko Pop but y'all know that's like so hard to get. And I saw this Rob Stark figure and I was like, gotta support my man Richard Madden like that. So I um, bought that and then I was like, oh my gosh. I should start collecting these. They're really cool. So that's how I got collecting. Now let's get into me showing you my collection. And I got all these on eBay and I'm going to be showing you all of them two at a time. So first we have Jon Snow and this is in the order of the line that they came out or whatever. Um, so first we have Jon Snow and I am going to be reading the back of the boxes so there may be spoilers. So yeah, just a heads up. <laughs> so we have John. And this is by Dark Horse Comics. Okay, so the bastard son of Ned Stark. John was recognized by his father at birth and raised alongside his half brothers and half sisters at Winterfell, where he has only felt like an outsider. He grew up idolizing his father yearning for the affection and approval Ned was never able to fully give. John seems to have found his place in the world with the Night's Watch, where he has become a natural leader, an effective warrior, when faced with the dangers beyond the wall. So there we have Jon Snow, and now moving on to the Targaryens. We have, this box is damaged though. Um, but I got all these, literally some of them were less than $20, so I mean, like, what can you expect? Um, so then we got Daenerys Targaryen with her dragon eggs on the chest they come in. And you can put them in um, one of the eggs in her hands. Now, I don't know um, if I'm going to put these out of the box yet, display them. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but I'm sure I'll know one day. One day y'all will know. So now time and then up close. I don't know how close I showed John, but um, my cat just jumped on the table in front of me. Cool. Okay, an exiled princess in the last of the overthrown Targaryen line, Daenerys spent her entire life far from Westeros and hiding on the eastern continent of Essos. Timid and innocent at first, she grows into a steely and strong leader after her marriage to the Dothraki horse lord Khal Drogo. The death of her domineering brother Viserys and the birth of her dragons, the first in thousands of years. Her mission, reclaim her family's birthright and take back the Iron Throne. So those are our first two in the line. Let me show y'all the next two now. So next we have Daenerys' husband, Khal Drogo, the Dothraki horse lord, as the last book said. And this is the one that I think they did such a good job on. It literally looks just like Jason. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but this one is amazing. So his description, Khal Drogo is a powerful warlord of the Dothraki, a nomadic tribal nation of riders who ride and pillage across Essos. A mighty warrior who has never been defeated in battle, he is both loved and feared by his followers, who are known as his Kalasar. In return for the promise of an army, exiled Prince Viserys Targaryen offers Drogo the hand of his sister Daenerys in marriage. Their captor-captive relationship eventually changes into one of real love. So our next one, um, I, it was actually in one of my videos last week, but it is Tyrion Lannister. And I said I don't really think this looks like Peter Dinklage at all, and I still don't think it looks like him, like y'all can see. And... Yeah, I don't think it looks like Peter Dinklage, but it's whatever. Um, so the third and youngest child, a Tywin Lannister, Tyrion has been scorned, derided, and underestimated all his life due to his being born a dwarf. 
Indeed, he is known far and wide as the imp. His intelligence and good humor have helped him weather many hardships with a little help from wine and horrors. Having lived most of his life decidedly outside the Game of Thrones, he becomes an unwitting player when he is falsely accused of murder and put on trial, an event that soon leads to an all-out civil war. And then in the wake of Ned Stark's death, Tyrion is appointed to the office of Hand of the King. So I don't like the um, description of Tyrion on that. Um, just, I think they wrote it kind of confusing. I talked about that um, in last week's video as well. But I don't really like how they did that. <laughs> I don't know if it's Dark Horse or HBO because they're both on the bottom. So I'm going to show y'all my final two in the collection now. So our next one is my favorite Game of Thrones male character. I could say more, but again, I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but we have the lovely Rob Stock. In <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Um, I've heard Chuck Madden. He comes with a sword. Like, I think John came with a sword as well. Yeah, he did. Um, and then Jamie probably comes with a sword. Jamie is the next one I'm gonna buy, but I haven't, or did I buy him already? I think I did buy him, and um, he's on the way. <laughs> So Rob, the eldest of the Stark children, Rob is a brave young man and a skilled fighter who is committed to defending his family and upholding his father's code of ethics. He is tested as never before when his father leaves for King's Landing and he must assume the duties of Lord of Winterfell. After Ned's tragic death, Rob causes banners and rallies the North to war against the Lannisters, where he is crowned the King of the North, the first in three centuries. And then we have... Arya Stark and she comes with Needle as well but she's holding that one. The others have just come optional but Arya needs Needle. Needle needs Arya. So <laughs> the youngest daughter of Ned Stark, Arya is a tomboy who'd much rather be riding, sparring, and playing at swords with her brother. Um, Arya is whip smart, athletic, and defiant of authority. In King's Landing she begins to train in the ways of sword play. Skills that come in handy when tragedy strikes her family and she's forced to survive on her own. So those are my two Starks and that is my whole collection. The only one um, out of like the first wave I don't have is Ned Stark. He's always over a hundred dollars on um, eBay and I'm not gonna pay that much. Like that's nowhere near what I would pay as much for one of these figures. And I don't know why he's so expensive when the others are literally like $20, but I mean, Ned's a great dude. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. And as always, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys.